go back to the workbench and then drag ACP post onto the static structure this will translate the solution and click edit and this will bring up uh, ACP module again this is a little different than the pre-processing uh, mo module although the information from pre-processing is still there but you can't change it now from here uh, for post-processing uh, we can see the solution is right here and then the uh, definition we can detect you know rotation angle thickness shear and all these different things so one thing we want to add in definition is failure criteria uh, this is to help us determine if apply fails or not uh, a good failure criteria to use is uh, Saiwu failure criteria that's one of my favorites and then we also want to detect if there are any core failures for sandwich structures so select check those boxes and click OK alright to view uh, the solution in ACP all you need to do is to create different scenes uh, so to do that let's let's so the for the first one let's figure out the in-plane stress at each layer of the composite so to do that we just right click on the scene and create a scene uh, this will bring up the dialog box let's say this one is the in-plane stress just give it a name and then we want to bring in the solution so which solution one to use we want to use the one that's from the static structure so solution one and you can turn on the deformation or not uh, it's your choice and then in contour plot this is really important here so in contour plot you want to change the definition we're looking for in-plane stress so change it to in-plane stress um, ply wise means that we're going to analyze each ply at a time um, so keep that box checked so we want to do that um, and then the spot so what happened is the strain experience as you move out from the the middle plane for composite material the spreading strain is going to be different uh, so th that and there therefore the stress is going to be different at each location this means that each ply is going to have two different stresses uh, one on the top, one uh, so the top and bottom surface will have different uh, stresses. So this allows us to select which one we want to view. Uh, for this case, we want to view the top, uh, but so just to show you, you can also view the bottom. I think the middle just takes the average of the two. So let's do the top, and then for the component, so basically which prin principal direction we want to look at. Uh, we want to look at the fiber direction for right now, so keep that the same. If you want to look at, you know, shear or transverse direction, you have all the options in here as well. So let's look at the fiber direction and click OK. So this creates a new scene. It's different from the first one. And to view the result, you want to uh, uh, expand the model ply group. Let's say you want to see what the stress looks like in the front. You expand the plies. Uh, and you expand the stacks and then click uh, on each ply individually and this shows what the in-plane stress is or the uh, fiber stress it looks like the contour plot looks like and it looks like the maximum uh, stress occurs at the suspension point where the suspension is attached which makes sense um, so the second layer is going to be different and then the third layer and fourth layer so basically each layer you can see uh, what kind of spread stress that layer is experiencing this is really neat and then if you go to the different parts for the back and you expand the stack you can view each layer that way as well and then another one we want to look at is that's important uh, we want to detect any core failures uh, one way to do that is to create another scene so create another scene and then we'll name this core failure and once again bring in the solution I always check the deformation and then in the contour plot uh, we want to select failure criteria so detect which where it fails uh, we can do it ply wise and let's try it without 
without the plywood. So it's going to analyze everything together. To detect any core failures, you want to check failure mode plot deforma deformation, show critical failure modes, and also critical layers. So let's check those boxes and click OK. So what this does, hit update, is in this scene, it shows uh, if there are any failures. Now we used Saiwu criteria. So basically uh, the uh, constant number we use is 1. So anything over 1 is considered failure. So if you see any red on the monocoque, that means that area has experienced some failure. And another thing is the code showing on the monocoque. This number also shows you what type of a failure it's going to be. It's showing the failure mode. So basically, it's the critical case. And if you want to look at the uh, failure layer by layer, if you think this is too messy, you can. All you need to do is just create another scene. And name it failure analysis, and then bring in the solution deformation, and go to control plots, select the failure criteria again, and then do ply wise. If you select the OK, this will analyze the failure mode of each ply. So if you click on, for example, the plies in the front, it shows you their conditions against failure criteria. Basically, uh, there's we're not putting a lot of load uh, with number of ply we're putting on the monocoque. And it's not going to fail. The, none of the layers are going to fail in this case.